Stand up and base. Uh, this is the only way you should be standing up. And there's a few different variations of this move. Uh, we'll just talk about alios for now. So this is kind of the classic bracy way. Um, we're basically sitting on our butts here. It's used when we need to stand up and we have uh, some type of aggressor in front of us. Okay. I think maybe, well, I've been doing jujitsu so long that I don't really know how people stand up. I think maybe they normally stand up by going hands to knees and then getting up like that. I, I really don't know. But you can see how doing anything of this nature either exposes my back or presents my head. So it's a very, very bad way to stand up. So uh, this is just the classic way. On my butt, I just drop same side, hand and knee to the mat. Okay. Traditional way is to tuck this foot behind here. All we're gonna do for this is bring this foot and knee back to this hand to stand up. Okay. Very simple, easy way to stand up. And I'm always protecting my most valuable asset, which is my brain. So, foot is tucked, okay? I don't wanna be too elongated here because it makes it very awkward to stand up and I stand up doing the splits. So I'm just kind of nice and tight, nice and relaxed here. This hand's just resting on the knee and this hand is offering some bit of protection for the head, um, however small it might be. It's better than nothing. So I never want this guy to get too close. I'm very mobile from here. I can scoot around, scoot away if need be. So it's just a general all around great place to, to be. So anytime you're hanging out, be comfortable with this. So, important details here. On this hand and foot, I'm gonna lift my hips up. I'm just exaggerating this. You don't need to lift them this high, but just off the mat. From here, I turn and pivot. This foot comes back just behind the hand. You can see how my knee and foot are just behind the hand, okay? Don't go clear back here away from the hand. Just try and keep it in the general vicinity of the hand. Okay, I'm always looking forward. I don't want to have my head buried in the mat too much. And you can see how my hips come up. And my head basically stays at the same level. Okay. There are other, other variations where we might push here or whatever. But just for now we're here. Placing the foot behind the other foot just makes it easier to transition especially for newer people. Sometimes this is a little harder starting out here for people. Okay. And then there are even variations where we hop completely back here. Okay. I can scoot the feet, stand up, move up. 